Okay, so I'm basically starting um, when I just finished my life story, but I wanted to, get, to let you guys in on a project I'm doing. Mary's one year anniversary is coming up. It's hard to believe that. And so I am crocheting um, hats for the homeless, 30 of them, um, every, one for every year that she was alive. So you can see all the ones that we have so far. And then we're going to put something like this on it. Free Love Mary. And I'm going to go hang them up like in downtown Conroe where there's a big um, homeless population. So I'm making 30. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm working on 14. So I need to hustle because it's like 10 or 11 days away. It's so strange how fast time goes. But the day before, I'll probably post something about everybody doing an act of kindness in her name. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing on her anniversary is I'm making 30 hats for the homeless. And I'm going to go take them and pin them up in a part of town where people can hopefully use them. So we are up in the middle of the night to make a party and have a little party today. Got a cookie. There's Phoebe <laughs> being all cute. Um, I thought I would take a minute to get the lighting better. I thought I would take a minute to talk about um, trichophilomania because I think it'd be inauthentic if I didn't. Um, after my sister died, I so I've always been like a hair twirler. Um, for a long time, I was like. This brings me a lot more comfort than I think maybe it should. And I like twirl my hair all the time, not just when I'm nervous. Like I, I just, I'm just like constantly twirling my hair. And um, <clears throat> after my sister hung herself, I started pulling my hair out. And first it was like back here and that's like pretty much grown back in, but then it was like right around here. So that's like one of the reasons that I wear all these awesome headbands. They're pretty hip. But, I mean, I'll show you a picture here of the comparison, I think from like a month or two ago to right now. I take like biotin and don't pull. <laughs> but it's hard and it's one of the things that is part of my PTSD. It's a nervous thing, it's a anxiety thing, it's a stress thing. But I wanted to just put that in there randomly. Sorry, that's like a super random little side topic. Um, but it's something I'm dealing with, and so I just wanted to add it in there. So luckily, hair grows back. And I just have to resist the urge to do it. it I never thought I would become a hair puller, um, and that it would actually feel good to pull hair. Yeah? Nope, you can go potty in there. Okay, you want me to come hold your hand? Okay, one second, I'll come hold your hand. But I just wanted to show you that. Um, I mean, it's crazy, but it is part of my PTSD, and this channel is supposed to be authentic and true, and that is just one more thing that I'm dealing with that all the abuse kind of caused. But I have that under control, I think, hopefully. So. I think I'm gonna make a just a shorter video this time about the project and some midnight Frank and some trichophilomania awareness um, and the next video can be more my life story so this will be a shorter one so hope everybody's having a good weekend and I'll see you in my next video thank you again for watching